everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I am always on the hunt for great cards. And today we will be hunting through this box, which I got in the mail last week and have been chomping at the bit to open. This is some uh, resealed or repacked wax. It's actually, that's the name of the organization who does it. And uh, it's a pretty good product. I've opened some of their uh, baseball repacked wax before and I was fairly happy with it. So I thought I'd give it a try again and uh, we'll see. I got some baseball and some football this time. It's uh, pretty good stuff and I think you'll be very interested in it. They have uh, cards from the 1950s all the way to modern day in those packs. So you never know what's going to come out of those. Hope you guys had a good weekend and enjoyed the Super Bowl. Was it a good game? I actually don't know yet because I have not seen it on Saturday night. My wife and I got food poisoning and were pretty much out of commission for all of yesterday. And uh, I've only started kind of feeling remotely like my usual card wolf self uh, today. So uh, that was pretty rough. I got to tell you, I was not at my best <laughs> at all. And I tried watching some of the uh, Super Bowl on the couch last night, but uh, I fell asleep after about 10 minutes. So uh, I'll get back to that tonight. So if you leave any comments, uh, don't leave any spoilers for me unless it's a comical spoiler, which I would greatly enjoy. Um, so yeah, I, I got a lot of sleep last night. As I said, I fell asleep pretty early. I think I went to bed uh, around nine o'clock, which is probably the earliest I've gone to sleep in well, probably decades anyway. Yeah, so I slept for a lot last night and when my son came in and got me to wake me up this morning as he always does around seven o'clock or so, instead of saying, go back to bed, I said, uh, all right, lad, let's greet the day because that's how I speak in the morning. So I mean, all of us too. That's just, you know, civilized. First, a couple of shout outs because I got some new subscribers and I wanted to uh, shout them out to you guys. Uh, one is Jimmy Lacari and another is Michael Schaefer. Thank you both, Jimmy and Michael, for subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. Game Day Legends, thank you for your subscription. They do football, basketball, all sports, really, and uh, do some really great breaks. Uh, really friendly and really knows his stuff over there at Game Day Legends. You should give him a look. I think you'll like it. And just this morning, I got a sub from Hat Trick Cards, which is a site that has nothing to do with haberdashery, but instead hockey. They focus mainly on opening hockey cards and also have a cool video up right now on their hockey puck collection. And uh, just got a package. Their most recent video is them opening a package they got from Leaf Fan Down Under, a perennial favorite here on the Card Wolf Network. And I'm sure many others of you who watch my channel adore and venerate Leaf Fan Down Under almost as much as I do. They are wonderful people, and so if they say that Hat Trick Cards is a good channel, then they're, they're going to get my attention. So go ahead over there and see what you think. I know some of you like hockey a great deal, so it might be a good channel for you. I also wanted to show you this card. I was going through cards the other night before I was felled by food poisoning, and I came across this card, which is from 1982 Fleer, and it is of Bruce Souter hoisting the, uh, there it is, Bruce Souter hoisting the Fireman of the Year award. And as you can see, it is an enormously huge award. So you can understand why our good friend Clay Carroll was quite dismayed at not having won it at Sparky Lyle somehow through some trickery of math, having beat him out by one point. Uh, if, if you don't watch my channel very often, none of this will make sense to you. But if you do, you'll know what I'm talking about, and you'll know that this award is huge. And honestly, Bruce Souter looks like he's really struggling under the weight of the thing, which leads me to believe that the Fireman of the Year award used to be made out of solid gold. That's what I think is the case. So Bruce Souter got to haul that solid gold trophy home in his passenger seat because it's that big, and then probably put it out in a field somewhere and built a house around it because it's so heavy and large you couldn't possibly have a room big enough to display that properly. So uh, that's probably what Sparky Lyle did too when he won that award low those many years ago and uh, poor Clay Carroll, he just uh, he wasn't able to ever recover from that. I'll tell you what, Clay Carroll, I, I felt a lot like this all weekend. Yeah, food poisoning is no joke people. All right, let's open this up and stop my chitter chatter and see this product and see if you guys like it. I, as of me putting this video up, I looked on their website and they do still have some available. They're out of the uh, large sizes of uh, cards. Why did I put that away? I didn't do the most important part. 
all out of sorts today. There we go. All right, as always, please practice good knife safety and put these kinds of blades out of the hands of small children. So let's see these. I think you're going to be impressed with the appearance of the product at the very least. Uh, yeah, here we go. As you can see, the Repacked Wax organization has their own wax packs that they put these in for both football and baseball. They don't do any other sports uh, at the moment that I know of. Am I going to need Mr. Kershaw again to get into these? I think I might. Yeah, I think I might. Wow, they really don't remember them sealing these up so thoroughly the last time I bought from them, but that was, that was over a year ago at least. I've never opened this product on the channel before. I wasn't even thinking of having a channel over a year ago. So there's the baseball, and let's uh, free the five packs of football from their plastic prison and uh, get into that. There we go. All right. Now, in this case, I ordered five of each, five football and five baseball. And uh, you can order them in three different sizes. You can get a five pack or you can get an 18 pack, which comes in a neat little box, or you can get a full 36 pack of these, which comes in a standard size uh, trading card box, like any of these you see back here on the wall. So uh, I went for five and five. Last time I think I just ordered five baseball and I was pretty happy with it. So this time I ordered five of both, 10 packs for us to open. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, we'll start with uh, a baseball or two, and then we'll move into the football and come back to the baseball and just uh, see how we do. All right, so as you can see, I mean, this is an organization, I think it's three or four collectors out in Ohio, and they make up these packs, they collate them and put them together by hand, and then they have a heat sealer uh, that they use to actually seal these, and these are real wax paper packs. They uh, really do a nice job with these. It's a very nice product, certainly from the, uh, from the production value standpoint. And then they even put a little card, one of their business cards, in here to keep the uh, waxy film from getting on any of the cards within. So that, I believe, has their logo on it. Yes, it does. So there's their logo of repacked wax, vintage baseball cards in real wax wrappers. That is accurate. So if you go over to their site, they still have some five packs of baseball left. I think they're sold out of larger packs of baseball, and they're almost sold out of larger packs of football and have some five packs of football left. Um, they sell out of these things really fast, too. They sold out pretty much within a day or two uh, when I bought these a month ago, and I guess this is their most recent uh, stock that has probably been up for the last couple of days. I just checked this morning to uh, see. So if you want, if you like what I pull and you want to get some of this product for yourself, you want to get over there pretty quickly because they do sell out very fast. So I'm just going to leave that uh, right there and you guys can see. All right, so let's see. They also put a business card on the bottom. So you end up with uh, their stickers, actually, and you end up with a, a lot of these that you can uh, put on all of the parked cars in your neighborhood if you want to. Sean and Dustin starts us off. Sean and Dunstan. He was a huge prospect back in the day. Did not really go anywhere. This is an interesting card. Eddie Williams. And this is from an upper deck set. I don't remember which one. I'm not going to go through all of these and do this. That's the 95 upper deck set. Pretty cool. There's a 1973 Skip Lockwood. That's pretty neat. I will actually put that in a stack up here because I'm making a 1973 set and I don't remember if I have Skip or not. Jamie Easterly. There's a 1984 Donruss. Mike Hargrove. That's pretty sweet. 84 Donruss is a tough year to get from that era. So that's pretty cool. Mike Torres, longtime pitcher in the majors. Rick Honeycutt, another longtime pitcher in the majors. Nolan Ryan, pretty nice. That one will go on the Wolf Lair. That's uh, 19... 82 highlight card. We'll put that over here with little Wolfie. Al Martin and Rick, well, Rich Roland, Dave Frisselbean, Ellis Burks, another hot prospect at one time with the Red Sox. Here he is with the Rockies, where he eventually went. Carlos Martinez, Dennis Powell, and Ardolis Chapman. All right, so interesting pack. Not a thriller, but uh, that's the way these packs seem to run. You get one that's kind of okay, and then uh, somewhere in the run you get one that is, like, pretty great. So hopefully we will get a pretty great one in this stack of repacked wax cards. All right, so let's see what we have in here. We'll get the stickers out of the way. Flip this over, and we start off with Kevin Bass when he was with the Astros. Bob Horner there, very good third baseman for the Braves for several years. Jeff Leonard outfielder. 
Great Nettles, World Series hero for the Yankees. He eventually, I think he went to San Diego after he was with the Yankees. Charlie Ha, who uh, played in the majors for about 50 years and uh, looked the same as he went in as he came out. Always looked like kind of an old man, Charlie Huff. And there's John Cangelosi. Mark Grace, not a bad card. I don't think I actually have that card. That is pretty neat. That is from Select 1995. And I'll show you the back too, because the back's pretty neat as well. They did a nice job on these cards, even though it was the so-called Junk Wax era. These were very nice cards, and you don't see them a lot. So I do like those. Uh, Candy Maldonado from Fleer Ultra. And whoa, here we go. Now we're talking. This is a very nice, uh, very old card, I believe. Uh, uh, that is 58, if I'm remembering right. That's a sweet card. Uh, a little out of focus there, but still nice to find that one in a pack. You don't see that very often. I'll put that one to the side as well. There's Jesus Aguilar from the Milwaukee Brewers. And there's a 1980 card of Randy Moffat, another 1973 card. This has seen better days. It's got some, some really bad wear up here in the corner of Bert Campanaris. He uh, made it to the World Series several times himself. Danny Darwin, John Butcher, and what do we have here? Kevin Brown. Not the best photo of Kevin Brown. Let's try some football. We still have three packs of baseball. Let's get into some football now and see how we do on the football. I know some of you uh, only collect baseball, or you collect a little baseball, a little hockey. Most of you don't seem to collect football. I'm not sure why that is, but I do, and I really enjoy it. So let's see. Maybe I can pull something really cool out of uh, this football pack for my own collection. Larry Centers, running back for the Cardinals, starts us off. And there's Miles Sanders. That's a pretty recent card. I'll put the football stack over here. That's a pretty recent card. I think that, is that 2021, 2020? Yeah, that's 2020. So that's a pretty recent card of Miles Sanders. And there's an old one. Bobby Mitchell of the Redskins. That is a pretty sweet card. I want to say that is... Gosh, why can't I remember that? That is... 58, I think? Maybe not. Maybe that's 61. It's from the Philadelphia Gum Company. It's not a Topps card. But uh, that's a pretty sweet vintage card right there. Dwayne Carroll, that's 1978 Topps. That's kind of a fun card. And that goes in football. Wilbert Montgomery, great running back for the Eagles. Uh, that is a neat card, and that is a, a pretty nice condition card. These uh, cards, because of the black border, you often see these cards in really bad shape because it's uh, just so easy to uh, damage that border. These are Topps cards from uh, 1985, and it's a hard set to make in decent condition, and that is about as mint as it gets for that set, so that's pretty nice. Roger Vick, not Michael, but Roger Vick. And of course, we lost focus. There we go. Greg Townsend, the 1989 AFC champions were the Bengals, and maybe they're the Super Bowl champions right now. I have no idea, because I haven't seen the game, and I've been assiduously avoiding the internet, which has honestly been a great pleasure, but I've been avoiding the internet, which is why some of you may have noticed that I have not commented back or replied or checked out your videos, which I plan to do tonight, perhaps after I watch the Super Bowl. Mervyn Fernandez... And Freeman McNeil, another great running back from that era. That's pretty cool. Pro set Jets card. Keith Jackson, not the announcer, but the tight end for the Eagles. And Tim McHire. And what we have here, this is uh, Jim McMahon when he was with the Vikings. That was after his glory days with the uh, with the uh, Bears that he had. And Ray Wershing, longtime punter, longtime kicker in the league. We'll do another football pack while we're at it here. Let's see what we can get out of this one. So what do you guys think of this uh, product so far? I've been pretty happy with some of the vintage pulls we've had. Still waiting for a really nice big superstar type hit. But uh, like I said, some packs are stronger than others, just like real wax packs. So we'll see about that. Neil Smith starts us off with this pack, 1978 Calvin Hill. I believe Calvin Hill is a Hall of Famer, so that's a pretty good card. We'll set that out. Jeff Gladney, that is a recent card, and that is a rookie. Darren Smith from the Cowboys. Andre Tippett from the... Wow, what do we have here? Richie Hebner, which is a baseball card in a football pack. I didn't know that that was a possibility or that that happened. This is an old one from the 1977 top set, so that's kind of interesting. I'll put that one up here, because I... Uh, those are, honestly, those are the two sets I'm trying to make right now, are 77 tops and 73 tops. 
I do think I have the Hebner though, but I'll have to check and see if that one's in better shape. All right, so we continue on with this so-called football pack. Keith McCants, Ron Stallworth, Ed Too Tall Jones. There you go. That's a pretty nice card. We'll set that up there. Myron Guyton, Gerald Wilhite, Daryl Talley. Uh, I see Gary Anderson there, longtime kicker for the Steelers. Another card from that 85 top set in just gem mint condition. I mean, that is sharp corners. No wear to the uh, the black borders. Really a, a nice card there. Happy to see those. Those are hard to get. Pat Leahy finishes that pack off for us. We'll do one more football and then we'll switch back to baseball and uh, see if we can get a big pull out of one of those baseball packs. All right, more of the stickers that protect the cards from the wax. Uh, Lawrence Dossey there. That one looks like it went through the printer a few too many times. Let's get the uh, focus. There we go. And there is a nice one. That's a Dan Marino card that I do not have. That is a select certified edition of Dan Marino. I can't remember what year this one is off the top of my head. And of course my spectacles do not help the matter. I think this is, I know this is Pinnacle. I think it's uh, 98. I think it's 98. Anyway, that's a sweet one. That is definitely going into the old Wolf Lair. Rod Martin, that's a nice card too. And that is also a tough set to get because of these green borders. These are also uh, hard cards to get. They show the wear on them quite a quite a great deal. These are 86. They came out the year after those black border cards. That's a, a pretty sweet card. Happy to have that. Oh wow, here we go. This is a pretty nice vintage card. It has some uh, pencil mark on the back, but that actually may erase. We'll have to see about that. Uh, this is uh, 1970, I believe, 1970 Tops football. I'll put that over here in the Super Vintage area. Kenny King, and this is, I think, 82 Tops, if I'm remembering right. 83, 83 Tops. Well, there you go. Kenny King, Thomas Everett, Peyton Manning. Nice card there, Peyton Manning. And that is uh, 2020, so that is not during his career, but still a sweet card to get. Tom Newbery, all pro for the Rams. Ray Donaldson, and we're probably out of focus again. Let's get that back. Here we go, Tim McGee, for a team that could be the world champions right now. I have no idea. Uh, Proline, whoa, that is, uh, what is even happening there? I do not know what's going on on that card. And who is that? That's Ernest Givens, and he looks really happy about how that photo turned out. And who couldn't blame him? I mean, that's, that's quite a photo, Ernest. Todd McNair, running back for the Chief. Jeff Bostick. Michael Brooks and Bob Martin. That's a uh, really beat up card from uh, 1980 set, I believe. Yes, 1980 set of top. So let's go back to some baseball and see if we can maybe do a little better. I like the Marino card. I like the Nolan Ryan card. And some of these old vintage cards are sweet too, but I want something a little bigger than that. Let's see if we can do well in this pack of baseball. We start off with Jim Gott, Pitcher for the Pirates back in those days. Billy Gardner, manager card. I'll set that aside for Goody G. J.R. Richard, a really great pitcher for the Astros for several years. Len Barker. Pasquale Perez. Tim Hewlett. There's another Select 95, and that one is of Cliff Floyd. And Marvin Freeman. Tito Landrum. And Pablo Sandoval. There's a checklist. I have to set that aside for Goody G as well. It's my understanding that he collects both of those. Checklists and manager cards. There's Woody Fryman, 1973 tops. I'll put that up in that stack. Rafael Ramirez, Dave Kingman, quite a slugger in his day, and Howard Battle, who I do not remember ever seeing a card of. We'll go for another baseball here. I feel like we've got to hit something really good really soon. That's my feeling on this, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Put that there. And Tom Herr starts us off. Long time second baseman for several different teams. Frank Viola, not a bad card there, and that is from 84 uh, Donruss, which is, as I've said, a, a pretty tough set. Art Howe, later went on to become a manager there, he's playing second base. Mike Fishlin, Chuck Noblock, it's a big card back in the day. Dave Schmidt, we have here another checklist card. Hector Cruz, Free Freddie Friedman. That's not a bad card. I don't think that one's a, a rookie, but still, that's a pretty nice card. Freddie Freeman there. Mike Vale, 1980 tops. And there is another 1973 tops of Tony Muser. We'll go ahead and put that back there. Juan Samuel, Floyd Bannister. And the last card is Lyle Mouton. 
Another rookie I do not remember particularly well. All right, so we're going to do the last two football, and then we'll do that last baseball. So far, this has not been as stellar as I had hoped. Uh, the last time I opened this product, it was uh, it was definitely better than uh, this has been. What is going on here? Oh, it's just a blank card that time. I've been pulling blank cards on this channel lately. Isn't that funny? All right, so let's see what we have here. All right, so this uh, card to start us off is A.J. Hawk making a tackle in the snow of the Chicago Bears. Trevarius White and uh, Sterling Sharp. That's not a bad one. Sterling Sharp, I believe. Is he a Hall of Famer? I'm actually not sure. I, I think he might be. I'll put that in the Wolf Lair and check on that. Mike Washington, nice vintage card from 1978. And there is another 1985. And these are these 85 cards are really quite pack fresh. They're in great shape. Wish we could score a little better than the players we've been getting. Mark Spindler, Jamie Holland, Terry Kennard, Chip Banks, Super Bowl, where the Giants beat the Bills by one point. Tom Flores, wow, he, he looks uh, looks like he's seen better days, Tom Flores. Freeman McNeil, another one of those. We've had two of those so far out of the packs today. Paul Farron. And there's a Darnay Scott, 1984 rookie, or 2004 rookie, and John Dutton from the Cowboys. All right, last football pack. And so far, I am rather nonplussed about these pulls, I have to be honest with you. I was hoping for something a little bit better, especially out of 10 packs. Let's see if this will have last... It's not really the last pack, but it is the last football pack. Bill Brooks from Buffalo. And that is Alvin Harper. Yeah, Alvin Harper, Jerry Robinson, good linebacker for the Eagles for several year, years. Herman Weaver, 1976 Lions card. Todd Christensen, great tight end for the Raiders. That's a 1982 card. David Little, Mitch Trubisky, whatever happened to Mitch Trubisky. Steven Jackson, good good running back for the Rams. There's a Brian Bosworth rookie. That one's probably worth putting in the Wolf Lair and checking out. There's another nice Dan Marino. That's pretty good. That is an action-packed card. From back in the day and I do not have that one in my PC so I'll probably put that one in there that's a pretty neat card do not know who that is that's Fred Barnett there's a Jim Kelly all right well this last pack is definitely the best one for sure nice Jim Kelly card from 1990 and there's Keith Jennings Tommy Vardell and a Jack Lambert another Hall of Famer that's a 1980 card 1980 Jack Lambert, and that one's in pretty great shape, honestly. Very sharp corners. That goes in the wolf layer. All right, we, we had a great, that was a great last pack of football. Let's see if we can do the same with the baseball pack and see how that is. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic on the baseball. All right, Rick Cerrone starting things off. And Ray Fontenot, Clint Hurdle, Rick Manning, Chico Walker, Paul Ossenmacher, Ken Caminiti, Ed Sprague, Larry Milborn. Chad Green, Carney Lansford, Jeff Torborg, horribly miscut, Tony Pena, Gary Carter, there's a uh, nice Hall of Famer for us, and Scott Sullivan finished that one off. So tell me what you think in the comments, if you think that was worth it. That, that was uh, $40 worth of packs. I don't think I got $40 worth of cards out of that. So I'm not sure I would do that again, but uh, you may want to give it a try. I've seen some really good packs come out of that product, and maybe you guys would do better than me. In any event, thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you coming by the channel today, and I hope that uh, you're doing well and do not have food poisoning. And as always, happy collecting.